Welcome to Mrs. Peach's Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today is hashtag Thursday Booktube. You can go over and check and see what everybody posts on this Booktube book. Tell about a book they've read, even a recipe book, whatever. You this is hosted by Patty at Life with Patty and Daphne at My Mountain Home. You can go and check and see what both of those girls also post. They uh, do some awesome reviews here. I recently told you about this book I was in the middle of reading. I finished it. This is book one of the Yukon Quest. It was a book about a girl that was uh, trying to get away. Her dad and mom had gotten, well, actually her dad had gotten in some financial problems. This was many years ago and gotten in financial problems and this man took advantage of them and basically blackmailed the dad. He wanted to marry the daughter and uh, the mother and uh, the daughter contrived or connived along with the, the, the nanny to be able to get her away from the man and she ran away. And they got on a, um, they got to San Francisco and they got on a ship and went up to Alaska. She thought all of her problems were over because she was so far away. But her problems continued to follow her. During the gold rush, people were going up there trying to get gold. The ups and downs of it all, they started off in a tent and they ended up in a um, store. They ended up helping someone there. Well, in the meantime, without giving too much away, the this man that had wanted to marry her, he had hired people to find her, and he did find her. And they contrived, uh, contrived, I'm not sure that's the right word, but they connived, whatever word it is, they... Uh, they cooked up a plan to get away from this man, the ones that had become her friends. And with that being said, it left it in a good place, this story. Remember, this is um, a series of three books. And I don't, unless I come across it or get it at the library, I won't buy it. I, I did like it, but I'm probably not well enough to just go out and buy a book. I have so many books that I need to go through some of the books that I have. And said, I probably wouldn't go ahead and read the other two books. But it did leave it in a good place. If I didn't know there were two other books there, I would be okay with it, I guess. I referred to this book before that I got at the thrift, at the, the rummage sale. But I thought I'd go over it a little bit more. Somebody said I should go and look and see how much it's worth. I looked up this book and I found it costs anywhere from $10 to one place I've seen $22. So I just thought I'd go through this just a little bit and show you some of it. This was from 1910 to 1929 study about Norman Rockwell? I didn't. <laughs> he was very talented. I just thought I'd show you some of the, his, the pictures in this book. That was 2016 on the cover of uh, the Saturday Evening Post. This was 1914. And 1915, oh, I like this one, the little black and white one. Little boy going down the sidewalk. That was 1914, Illusions of the Magic Football. See, he has a football in his hand. And this is original painting, a uh, collection of Mr. and Mrs. J. Arden, 1918. Look at that. Anybody remember the party line? <laughs> and St. Nicholas. 
Okay, I know I can't go through every one of these. I don't want to keep you here forever. This is a cute one. Oh, look at he's looking at the clock. He's happy. Is he worried about? It says courting couple at midnight. Out at the sea. Looking out at the sea. That was the name of it. Anybody ever have crackers in bed? <laughs> How do you like the crumbs? <laughs> oh, this is nice. No swimming. <laughs> they got to a place where it said no swimming. I guess they had to rush out of there. The old captain. That was an original painting. A man. Okay, this is cute. A man threading uh, a man threading a needle. Original oil painting by it's 1922. Can you thread a needle? Do you know any men that can? I think I've gotten my son to throw, thread my needle a time or two whenever I couldn't quite see it. Most time I can. Sometimes it just don't happen. This is so cute. Okay, you guys, I don't want to keep you too long. So I might come back another time if any of you like this and, and just pick up here and show you some more. Another time. Let's stop with this one. Merry Christmas. They're having a merry old time. That was uh, 1928. Thank you guys for coming along. Be sure and check in out and see what everyone in this awesome collaboration posts today. You might find a book you are interested in reading. If you have a channel and would like to do a video, just um, tag Daphne and Patty in it with hashtag Thursday booktubes and you can just join right in they'll be happy to have you and if you want to just comment what's your favorite book I'd be happy to know that too thank you so much and God bless you don't forget Jesus loves you today see you tomorrow